First of nine, a new CDC study sheds light on the impact the pandemic has had on the mental health of teenagers. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Craig Day, in for Brian Dorman. And I'm Shannon Rousseau. The study confirms concerns that mental health experts here in Tulsa have had for several months now. News on 6's Grant Stevens has a look at that report and what parents can do to help. Grant? Craig Shannon, the numbers in this data are pretty shocking, showing increases across the board, things like depression, anxiety, and suicides. But despite the decline in teen mental health, those same researchers have hoped that things could get better. It's no secret the pandemic has been hard on kids, but the CDC's latest study paints a new picture of just how bad things have gotten. 37% of high school students reported they experienced poor mental health during the pandemic, and 44% report they persistently felt sad or hopeless during the past year. Patients were coming in exceptionally depressed, exceptionally suicidal. Director of Parkside Adolescent Hospital, Ken Moore, says hopelessness leads to isolation. Withdrawal. Kids who are withdrawing from family, withdrawing from friends, withdrawing from school. Even at home, what's supposed to be a safe place, teens didn't catch a break. The CDC cites high numbers of reported abuse. CDC Acting Principal Deputy Director Deborah Howery says these data echo a cry for help. Moore says isolation contributes significantly to poor mental health. Friends are the most important thing in the world, and for two years, our adolescents didn't have friends. They were cut off. He says it's up to parents to encourage their kids to get back out with friends. Re-engaging their kids socially and when their kids say, I want to go do this thing, unless it is clearly harmful, please, by all means, give them permission to go do that thing. Being around other people is the most, it's the best medicine. The hope is that as time goes on and as schools continue to look more and more normal, the high number of mental health concerns will start to drop. But Moore says that'll take time and patience. Grant Stevens, Oklahoma's own News on 6.